If you've been following the previous videos, we have gone into instructions on how to create Azure BTC custom policies. Once we created those custom policies, we then signed up using a user account and we had then successfully tested the whole sign up and sign in user flow. In this video, we're going to go into the instructions on how we can add an identity provider into our existing custom um, Azure BTC policies. So if you've not watched those video or videos already, you will have to pop back and follow those before you can attempt this and or these videos to be able to configure an identity provider. So the first thing we need to do in order for us to be able to add an identity provider in addition to our local accounts is we need to go to the um, Entra ID in question whereby we would like to configure into our BTC application. So, for example, if we go ahead and switch to the Apps 365 directory, I need to go into Microsoft Entra ID and I need to register a new app. And in there, if I click on New Registration, I then give this a name of Azure B2C. And then I will uh, just ensure that this is for this, this organizational directory only. Then we want to select from here Web. And I'm just going to paste that in there. And this will be, of course, my Azure B2C directory, so which will be I will paste this URL into the description below. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click register. Once you've clicked register, the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the certificates and secrets and we want to create ourselves a new secret for this. I'm going to leave uh, the six months expiration and I'm just going to put test of description here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that value and paste it into my notepad. The other thing we'll need as well is we need the client ID. So just scroll up and take a copy of the client ID and paste that into your notepad as well. The next thing we need to do is we need to store that client secret somewhere. So we're going to go back into our directories list. I'm going to switch back to our Apps365 B2C directory and I'm going to go ahead and search for Azure B2C. I'm going to go into Identity Experience Framework and I'm going to go ahead and click on policy keys. Click on add and the option should be set to manual. And I'm just going to give this a name of apps 365 app secret. And the value should be, of course, as I mentioned, the client secret, which we created moments ago. Keep the key usage as signature and go ahead and click create. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to our Azure uh, BTC custom policy starter pack and we want to go ahead and download this repo if we've not already done so. Once you've got it downloaded on your machine, you want to extract the files and we want to take a copy of social and local accounts. If you copy that, and I'm just going to paste it back into my downloads folder. And once I've got a copy of it, I just want to open those files in in Visual Studio Code. So now, now I have those files open. The first, first and foremost, the first thing I want to do is I want to open up the base file. And just again in here, as we did previously, we want to just add our uh, our tenant um, tenant over here rather than the your tenant. So just replace those in the trust framework base file. The trust framework extensions file and also in the sign up or sign in file. The reason we have to do this again is we're going to replace the existing base extensions and sign up sign in file because we're going to make changes to accommodate for this new identity provider, which is, of course, our Entra ID organization. So the first thing we want to do once we've amended our tenant in these files, uh, if you go ahead and click on the trust base file, I want you to go ahead and search for Facebook because these um, this starter template file 
um, also has um, Facebook as a uh, as an identity provider. So we don't want to set that up at this moment in time. And also because we don't want any errors when we're uploading uh, the Entra ID, th this new policy um, for our Entra ID capabilities, um, it will throw errors. So we're just going to take that out. So just find all the instances of Facebook in this file. Just got this line here as well. <clears throat> and this line here as well. And as you can see, nothing else reads Facebook. You want to do the same again in the trust framework extensions file. So we have a claims provider element here as well, referenced in Facebook. So we want to go ahead and remove that too. Now that all that's been removed, the next thing we can do or the next thing we need to do is if you remember previously, we had added the client ID for proxy identity and the identity experience framework app ID. We're just going to go, go ahead and go get those values again as they've been removed. So we're going to app registrations within our Azure BTC tenant. We first get the client ID for the identity experience framework app. And we're just going to go ahead and paste that here. And there, and then we want to go again, search for, then we want to search for the proxy identity experience framework. And we grab the client ID for that. And we're going to pop that in there. Once you've saved that, the next thing we want to do is we want to undo this user journeys element, which is commented out. So we want to uncomment that. We then want to go into our trust framework base.xml file and we want to scroll up and or find the element whereby there is a user journey for sign up or sign in. So if we copy this element in its entirety, and we're just going to control C, go into the extensions file and within this user journeys element, I'm going to paste that in there. So the first thing we need to do is we need to rename this. So I'm going to give it a name of custom, custom sign up or sign in. So we need to create a, a button for this. And the way we do this in XML is first and foremost, we go to our browser. I will provide the link to this URL uh, in the description, but we need to copy a new claims provider block for this entry organization. So I'm going to go back to my Visual Studio code and just inside of the claim providers block, I'm going to, hit, um, I'm going to create a new line and I'm just going to paste in here this um, example claims provider block and just fix the indenting and then i'm just going to change the values here so this can be a friendly name so it could be anything but i'm just going to type as app 365 and then 365 change this to apps 365 now this will be the text that appears on our button so i'm just going to type in Login with apps365 account. And then I'm going to change the description to apps365 as well. <clears throat> and in here, we have to enter your um, entry organizations on Microsoft address. So for me, that's apps365 live. And then the next thing you want to do is enter a client ID. So this, this is the client ID for the app you, we registered and or created at the beginning of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace that in there. Everything else can remain as is. And in here, we're going to change this to read the name of the um, policy key, which we created. So mine was called app365 um, app secret. So just to remind you, um, if we go back into um, um, our Azure B2C, uh, tenant, go to policy keys. I had created created that as app365 app secret, which is what contains our secret. Again, make sure you save that. The next thing we want to do is we want to then amend this user journey to um, for it to reference this new IDP. So just under this orchestration step inside of the claims provider selections, 
I'm going to go ahead and add a new claims provider um, element. So I'm just going to call it claims provider selection. And I need a property called target claims exchange ID. And I'm going to give that a friendly name of, of Azure AD Apps 365 Exchange. Just to follow the con convention of what they've done here. And then inside of the, the, the second orchestration step, I'm going to add a new claims exchange. So just in here, I'm going to create a claims exchange element and give that the ID of the target claims exchange, which is we've created above. Just paste that there. And then we want to give it a technical profile reference ID. And that will be the value of this new identity. I'm um, sorry, this technical profile that we created above. So if I just scroll up, I can obtain that from here, which is AD app 365 open ID connect. And I'm just going to scroll back down here. And I'm just going to paste that in there. So that will allow for us to then now sign in with the IDP. But the last thing we've got to do is we've got to copy this new user journey. And we're going to go ahead and replace that custom user journey. Um, name within the relying party element of our sign up and sign in file so just ensure that all your files are saved once you've ensured they're all saved go back to your identity experience framework um, click on custom policies in your azure btc organization and first and foremost we're going to go ahead and upload the base file so just ensuring that we are in the correct folder so social and local accounts I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to click override or check override the custom policy because we know one already exists. If you've been following the previous ad, um, previous tutorials whereby we created just a local account policy. The next file I'm going to upload is the extensions file. And finally, the last file I'm going to upload is the sign up and sign in file and again just ensure you click in override so they've all successfully uploaded the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click the sign up and sign in um, flow just to test that this all works i'm going to ensure that this is the test client application that we created in the first video of this series uh, ensuring that the reply URL is jwt.ms because we haven't created a front-end application as of yet. And we're going to go ahead and click from now. So as you can see, we have a new button which says login with Apps365 account. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, it wants me to enter my Apps365 user account address. So I'm going to click on this account. It's recognized this account, it's recognized my password, which is probably cached in my browser, and it's asking me if I if I want to allow this permission, which is requested. And as you can see, this is your B2C, is the, the app that we registered at the beginning of this video within the Entra ID organization. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And now it's going to create this user account for me locally within the b2c tenant so the flow of the authentication has worked it's now giving me the option of uh, filling this form up to be able to complete my whole sign up process and we click continue and as you can see it successfully now returned me my token claim properties and that has worked Thank you for watching guys and please do make sure you share, comment, like and subscribe.